<clears throat> yes, can you just kind of describe your your mindset in coming to this training camp in this preseason? Um, I'm just coming in trying to affect the game, uh, bring something different to the table than the other guards we have. Uh, do whatever it takes to help my team win. What do you think you can bring that's different? Say it again. Sorry. What do you think you can bring that's different? Um. Well, the, all our guards are really great players. It's just an emphasis on getting to the paint and um, spraying out getting guys involved and guarding the ball. You kind of talk about the difference. I mean, this is a unique time in your career, right? Compared to other years, <clears throat> um, it's a journey. You know, anytime that you're trying to get to something nice, you got to go through the hard thing. You no, know, it's fine with me. I'm embracing it. Uh, it's no ego. You know, I'm all about my work, and I'm thankful to be here. Thanks for the what? Thankful to be here. Well, thank you. Did you have to kind of come to a realization or come to an aha moment where like, okay, things are going to be different. I have to change or I have to adopt a different mentality. Absolutely. Absolutely. <clears throat> and I realized I had to change because I'm in a position now, you know, it's different than what I where I, I have ever been in my life, but I gotta grow. I know, so I got to change to grow, and I'm all for that. You know, I got some really good guys to, to learn from. Chauncey, Dame, CJ, uh, our whole staff is great, top to bottom. So I'm embracing it, like I said. When was the kind of the turning point, though, that you realized you're going to have to go through a um, That's kind of tough to say. That's kind of tough to say. Last season, I think my last game was here. I had a torn meniscus. Got the surgery postseason, uh, bouncing back from that. Like I said, I just locked in, man. I started working extra hard. Uh, I was in LA and Miami getting my work in. <clears throat> started diving into a little bit of books. Like I said, just changing how I think, I'm trying to grow. So, you talked a little bit about your relationship before when you came to Portland. Can you talk about that? About how much he's helped you and mentored you? Yeah, he's always been a mentor for me since uh, I actually met him before I got into the league. This was in. I want to say 10th grade or 11th grade, I met him through a mutual friend, Sham, Sham guy, he introduced us. Uh, obviously, I was fans of both of them growing up. So, you know, as soon as I found out I was coming here, the first thing I did was call Chimes. And, you know, he told me immediately on the phone, he said, you know, I'm a coach, and I wouldn't expect nothing less. You feel like you've been playing well this camp? Uh, I've been doing what I'm supposed to do. I've been, I've been going out competing and uh, making plays to help my team win. Talk to you talk a lot about wanting to get to the paint more and not settle for three when you said how you're trying to be one of those guys who's taking it to the basket. Is that something he's asked you to make sure that you focus on doing that? For sure, yeah. for sure. And I, I believe that's playing to my strengths. Yeah. Getting downhill, using my athleticism, uh, court vision, finding guys, and getting easy shots. Why, why would you say you, it hasn't popped for you yet in the NBA? Uh, it's just not, it's on God's time. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, like, it's things that's happening. Uh, they're not excuses. It's just, it is what it is. Some things I can't control, some things that I can. Regardless of how it goes, I got to take responsibility for everything. And whenever my time is, is ready, I got to be able to walk through that door. So last year at this time, you were in New York's camp, correct? Right. <laughs> and you felt you had a good camp and all that. How, how would you describe that situation? Killing in that camp. <laughs> you better ask them boys and why they'll tell you I'm killing out there. But uh, you know, just like something crazy, I got need, and then I had like 65 cc of blood just clotted in my thigh. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So when I had the chance to play, I, I couldn't do anything. And it is what it is. I can't control that. So like I said, I'm thankful for this opportunity. Do you got need in a practice or a preseason? I got need in a preseason game. They drank, they had a drain and it was all blood just clotted in my thigh. Wow, which thigh was that? My left. Yeah. Yeah. 65 cc of blood. So like I said, it's, it is what it is. I just gotta move on, learn from it, and try to grow. Yeah. So how do you look at this opportunity? Uh like I said, I'm thankful for it. And I'm trying to make the most out of it. You know, so like regardless of what happens at the end of camp or the end of preseason, if I come in and I know I put my best foot forward every day, like make it or not. I can sleep at night, you know what I'm saying? What did you like most about the way you played tonight? Uh, I was just game plan discipline. Game plan discipline, get to the paint and find guys. That's what they asked me to do. So I try to do that to the best of my ability. 
And then defense, I've, I've kind of read up on you. Your defense has kind of steadily improved since you've been in the NBA. What part of the root of that? Um, <clears throat> the biggest thing for me actually is film. You know, just studying guys who are really good defenders and seeing how they pick their spots, when to be aggressive, learning how to uh, dictate pace for the offensive player, things like that. It's just being a student of the game, like I said, it's always willing to grow. Anybody in particular you study? Uh, I watch Avery Bradley, I watch Drew, uh, CP. I was just a few of the guys. Is there a part of you feel with so many guys out today that was a great opportunity for you to get a lot of minutes and have a lot of opportunity? Yeah, I was aware it was going to be guys out. So like I said, just come in. <clears throat> every chance I get, put my best foot forward, and then I can live with the results after that. The meniscus last year, what team was that on? My left. Is that right that you had two ACLs? Is that yeah. That right? Yep. It's crazy. True story. <laughs> Told him that guy got me, bro. That's why I don't, I don't be tripping, man. For real, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Guy got me. So, like I said, I'm thankful for this opportunity. I'm thankful for the extra ACL. You know, <laughs> you just gotta gotta have gratitude, man. Yeah. Thanks, man. That's it. Thank you.